What's up, everybody? What's up? What's up? Afro Joseph here, like I tell you, like always in the morning. Well, y'all heard about this whole Jillian, whatever her fucking name is, and Sadea. Now, hold, now listen to this. I know it's done over with Monica, this and that, but to me, I got something to say about this shit. Now, from what, I, from what I've heard, I saw the video where she said this girl put grease in her hair and it smelled like fucking weed. Let me tell you something. Your fucking apologies, I won't. Her fucking apology, I do not itself. The reason why is this. If you was fucking sorry, your bitch ass would never said that shit in the first place about this girl. That's what's wrong with people today. Some people think it's not a racial thing she said. To me, it's not, but it is. The reason why. The reason why I say it, it is a racial issue, even though I just said it's not, it's not a racial issue, but it is. Let me, let me break it down for you. The reason why I say it's a racial issue, it's not a racial issue, but it is, is because of this. For one, it was very fucking offensive for this woman to say, this girl put grease in her hair, and her hair smelled like weed. She's 18 years old. She's done her teens. She ain't out her teens yet. That's one. She didn't think about this shit. Now you gotta remember. This is why I said this is. Uh, I don't think it's a racial issue, cause this girl's done her teens. How many teens committed suicide because somebody said some shit to them? A lot. Too damn many to count. This girl might have depression problem. And you wouldn't even know it. This girl could have died the next day. Leave me to know. Girl made fun of my hair, so I put grease and my hair smell like weed. Goodbye, world. And she could have probably killed herself. That shit would have been on her. Nobody never thought about that. Nobody never thought about that shit. The second, the reason why I say it, it's a race. I don't see it as a racial issue, but the reason why it is a racial issue, because you just stereotype a black girl. Well, she smegs just like I am, but we're not related. But uh, but when you say shit like she put grease in her hair and it smell like weed, and she's and a person is black, you stereotyping the black black people when you say shit like that. Oh, she put grease in the hair. She put grease in the hair. Bitch, you put mousse in your hair. You put mousse and all these other bullshit chemicals in your hair. When black folks put grease in their hair, oh, they put grease in their hair. Bitch, you put mousse and all this other bullshit. Plus, plus you're trying to be black but putting this fucking weave in and shit. Trying to be black and shit. But, to me, it's not a racial issue. But people, other people do see it like that. But, well, I just say it is a racial issue. You know, I don't see it as a racial issue. But, I really don't see it as a racial issue. But it was wrong for her to say what she said. The girl put grease in the hair, and her hair smelled like weed. Now you know that Whoopi Goldberg took offense to that, and she's like, "I'm not a, it's not a racial insult, but that was ignorant shit." Well, I agree with Whoopi Goldberg, and I don't accept her apology because one thing is, you on fashion police, you ain't Joan Rivers. Joan Rivers was the only mother, only person. That was on that show that can crack a joke, and th and people laughed at it. People know she was joking because what? She's a comedian. That's what comedians do. They crack jokes to make you laugh. This God rest your soul, Miss Rivers. But it's like this: Joan Rivers made that. Well, she didn't make the show, but make the show or whatever. But that show was her when she did them jokes. She did that. She did not sit there. Joan never sit there and bust out with all that. What this bitch did. Jones never took it to a step where the joke went so far and it ended up turning into a racial insult. She didn't take it so far. Oh, look at Neil Patrick Harris. Oh, look like he's about to suck some dick. She didn't do that. Oh, look at Rosie O'Donnell. Look like she's about to eat some pussy. She didn't take it that far. 
Hey, look at Holly Berry. Look like she's about to go eat some chicken and watermelon. She didn't take it that far. She made jokes about the outfit. And you, if you watch the, I watched a couple of episodes of Fashion Police. Don't boo, ain't gonna lie. The reason why I was, since Kelly Osbourne lost all that way, I thought she looked good as hell. Plus that purple pink hair she got makes her look good. So hey, brother like what she, brother like what he sees. But it's like it's Joan never took it to a far where somebody got offended. Or not, never took it to well, she she did take it far, but the people get upset and get pissed off, but get butt hurt words, but not to a point where she made it into a racial thing, and people looked at her like she was racist. That this girl just dealing whatever her damn nanny did. She said the writers made, uh, wrote the joke. Now you gotta think about it. You on camera as the writers are not. You're on camera and the writers are not the read and what I'm saying is this. Those writers are not on like when I say you're on camera and writers are not, the reason why I said that is you have a choice on saying what the writers say. You read your script, if you see something it's like, hey, rewrite that. I'm not going to say this. It's offensive. Da 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 da. You had every choice to do that, but you didn't. You sat there and you said it anyway and got backlash off of it. But and I tell you this, y'all remember a few? I don't know if y'all remember a few years ago about the whole Lady Gaga and Kelly Osbourne. Lady Gaga said the fashion police. <laughs> It's all about bullying. That all y'all do is break people down because y'all are bullies on national TV. Y'all judging people on what they wear and all this and getting them low self esteem. Then Kelly gets attacked by all Lady Gaga's fans. Kelly's saying, Pre what, Preach what you saw. You say, bullying is wrong but your fans are bullying me see what I'm saying now I kind of agree with Lady I don't agree with Lady Gaga did when her fans attacking Kelly but it's like this I agree with Lady Gaga said bullying is bullying no matter how you look at it doesn't matter now Lady Gaga and Kelly Osbourne are over the age of 18 they're not in their teens. But it's like this. Bullying is bullying, no matter what. But when you're in your 40s, in your fucking 40s, and you crack a joke on a fucking teenager, you're bullying a teen. Nobody never looked at, the, looked at that situation until I said something about it. The reason why I say bullying is bullying is because one thing is when you're over a certain age, when you're over 21, over 20 or 20, or it doesn't matter, 20, it's say like 20 because you're out of your teens, but when you're in your 20s and you just bully a 14 year old, that's bullying. You just bully a fucking minor. I don't give a fuck how famous you are, you just bully a minor. Now for this bitch to sit up there and say what she said about this girl hair was totally out of line. She got grease in her hair and her hair smell like weed. That's the wrong thing to say to a person. That's kind of stereotyping a person. Plus you just bullied this girl because of her hair. I wouldn't do shit that, I wouldn't do something like that to people. I, if, I, if I was in Zadea's shoes, if I was in Zadea's shoes, you know what I would have did? <clears throat> I went and went on and did an interview and said, look, she said something about my hair, I got, a, I took offense to that. I'm going to say it like this, she can't have no kids, but she got to ask somebody else for, to have, give birth to her kids. Your ass thinks she's how, look, to, to me, to me it's like this, don't run your fucking, to me it's like this, when you in that kind of gang, when you in the entertainment business, 
you got to watch what you say and do. Because one thing is, that shit will take effect to you. That shit will affect you in so many different ways. Now, you look at Miley Cyrus. She tried so hard to shake that damn Disney image. Oh, I'm going to shake that Disney image. I'm tired of Disney. So I'm going to walk around the stage half naked, sticking my tongue out, thinking I'm a black person. Yeah. And she, she kept doing that shit. What happened? People got sick and tired of her act. People got sick and tired of her sticking her tongue out and trying to make her booty clap even though she ain't got no ass to do it. You can't twerk a pelvis. I'm sorry, Molly, but you can't twerk a pelvis. Growing ass to twerk. <laughs> but for one, but like I said, man, it's all about about the day, though. It's about keeping it real. I felt bad when this woman said something about Sadea's hair. Now, for one, I know what it's like to have hair like it. I know what it's like to have hair like hers. And for somebody to pass so much judgment on her hair, it was totally out of line. You just don't say something about somebody's hair. They can't help it unless they primary put some shit in it to do all that. That was way out of line for her to say shit like that to make herself look good. Like I said, you're no fucking Joan Rivers. No fucking Joan Rivers. Now, I wouldn't say shit like that to somebody. It was way out of fucking line. So tell me what you think down in the comment section. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Jr. 2, CeeLo Jr. 3. And don't forget to follow me on Tumblr. Like I said, tell me what you think. I want to know what, what you got to say. Peace, love, and effort,